Hello everyone, welcome to part 38 of Laravel 10 series in which we are first creating the admin panel and we are working on the e-commerce admin panel in the last few videos we have started working on the categories module and in the last video we have seen that we able to create the add category form the same form will work for the edit as well uh, as this is the common page for both for add and edit category okay so now uh, we are going to save the category and going to insert it in our categories table in this video so let's start so first thing is uh, we are going to update the add edit category here uh, add edit category function we are going to update and here we are going to add the post method for it okay and here i'm going to add it if dollar request is method post okay, we are going to get the values here and here first of all we're going to print these values because we need to make sure that everything complete data is coming correctly from the form or not okay request all so we are going to print whatever submit from the add edit category form like this okay so here at edit category form we are going to see uh, here we uh, also required you can see the category image is also there so we are also required to have that enc type multi multi part form data so in case of image we need to add uh, enc type equal to multi part form data okay this one in case of uh, if you want to add the images okay uh, in your form if uh, you want to add the image so you need to add it like this image or any other file okay so in in, uh, in our case we are going to add the category image if uh, if you want to add it is not monetary uh, see it's your choice if you want to keep it monetary or not okay so now uh, so uh, we are going to check here uh, we are going to add uh, the form values okay so uh, here like uh, some category i'm going to search like t-shirt is the category if i want to add okay uh, here the current categories are these one and i want to add one more category like uh, uh, i want to add under uh, like i have added men women and kids and now under men i want to add the t-shirts okay uh, so I suppose in case if i will add here the t-shirts category under men see right now we will just add the main category because we don't have the level here okay uh, in the in the category level we able to select uh, that level but right now we don't have so we will add only the parent category so parent category we can add like under electronics or uh, we can add it like electronics these are the parent parent clothing electronics and appliances one more we are going to add like accessories i'm going to add the accessories okay because accessories does not have any parent category because uh, we are not adding subcategories right now because we need to do the further code in ajax jquery and ajax to have the category level that we are going to do later on right now if we will add any category parent id will be zero okay here you can see i'm going to show you like parent id will be zero in case of the main category okay otherwise the parent id will come up here so right now i am go i'm going to close this one and here i'm going to add the accessories okay uh, any image i'm going to pick up any accessory image okay i don't know in accessories uh, do uh, do those artificial jewelry also come i think I'm going to see the images of any accessory products. So, so these are all accessories, jewelry, artificial jewelry, and other products are, will also come. <coughs> so now, like I will add one uh, uh, rings or something, earrings, some belts, or many kind of products comes under accessories. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, save this these earrings okay just for the testing purpose i'm not going to uh, use it for any other purpose earrings okay 
uh, I am going to save anywhere wherever you want okay you can save in downloads as well okay so this is the web uh, I am going to check if I, I can able to convert it to a PNG or JPG okay like PNG or JPG if I can able to convert then it will be really good uh, use JPG so it is working fine okay so now uh, we can simply see this image will not go anywhere right now because we have not added its script uh, and we have not created the folder as well right now just uh, I am testing it okay so don't worry we are just want the output there uh, this is accessories category and here anything you want to add accessories as my title okay you can keep accessories this is the accessories info will come up here and accessories keyword will also come up here like this okay so i'm going to click on submit and uh, we'll see uh, so there is some issue has come it is reacting to the cms page we need to convert that to the category okay so that's why uh, now now we are going to try okay make sure that i have not updated anything else uh, okay we can close this one okay so it's fine i'm going to search for the cms i want to make it sure that there is nothing like cms or the page in this one okay so i'm going to search for the cms that cms must not exist in this category page no it's not there i'm also going to search for the page and at some places we are using it but uh, uh, it is fine okay so now we are going to try once again so i need to fill up all the entries once again and let's see accessories now it will quickly come okay and uh, earrings uh, can you discount 10 uh, actually it is happening due to uh, uh, see uh, if you will fill the data then it will not come if we will get the data like this then it will start showing it like this okay so right now i will just uh, give it anything if you want okay click on submit and here the complete details are coming here you can see the category name accessories credit discount 10 url accessories and other information is also coming along with the image you can see the earrings dot jpg okay so the complete information is now coming in the submission of the category in the categories con uh, function add edit uh, category function okay so uh, we can now uh, save the first of all we are going to save the category image okay so in case of uh, uploading the category image we are going to create the folder first of all uh, under public uh, we will have the front now we can save in the front uh, those categories images prox images later on as well we are going to save inside the front folder okay front we are going to make it front okay so under front we are going to uh, add uh, another folder like we can add here the categories folder under uh, front okay uh, we can either add uh, we can see there that how uh, we are doing in admin admin under images okay under images we are adding the other folders so the same thing we are going to do uh, under front we are going to add the folder like uh, uh, images okay under front we will add the images and under images we are going to have the folder like uh, category underscore images category or simply we can also add the categories okay like this categories like for products we will add the products because it's under images so no need to add the images here uh, okay so now uh, we are going to add the syntax for adding the for uploading category image upload category image syntax so i want to tell you like we have added earlier on as well i am going to copy uh, from uh, the script that we have added i think admin controller uh, we have added that uh, update admin details script in which uh, uh, we have added this uh, update admin image we can copy this one and we can paste it here and can make changes it will save a lot of our time 
and in place of admin image i am going to uh, use here the category image category underscore image okay once we will get it uh, you know, we are going to check that the category image is coming if it is coming we are going to put the category image in the image tab and we are going to check like the if image tab is valid then we will move further with the get image extension here we will get the extension of the of the category image and then we are going to generate the new image name here okay like this we are going to generate the new image name and we are going to use the image path here here we need to update uh, we are going to make it front under front we are going to image uh, we're going to save front images then categories okay under categories we are going to save this image name okay then uh, after saving this image name uh, we will finally uh, is here we are uploading that image okay upload the category image finally we are upload the category image this is the finally we are uploading the image okay upload the category image and uh, now after this we are going to save the category image as well okay uh, see uh, this one uh, is not required at this time we will just save the category image after this uh, we are going to save the category image here uh, i'm going to make it like uh, uh, starting from first one like category i'm going to make it like category i'm going to save uh, we'll take the category image here category underscore image and here i'm going to save the dollar image name that we have uh, generated okay and here we need to update here as well uh, here uh, we are required to have the dollar category in case of add we are working in case of add new category okay and here the message also when we will add the category successfully we will send this message category added successfully okay so in case of edit uh, we are not doing anything right now uh, we will do later on so this is the case of add only okay in case of uh, now uh, we are posting the data so here uh, in case of edit it will uh, sorry in case of add category category image here you can see it is work category image is dollar image name so it, it is fine okay so now uh, otherwise uh, this one is empty we are going to make it empty like this one is empty like this we can do so now after this uh, we are going to save the other things like uh, going to save this uh, category name category discount url everything we are going to save under the categories table okay so we are going to do it like this category category name dollar data category name we are going to do it like this okay after that carry discount after that uh, description then URL meta title meta description meta keywords okay uh, anything else all the fields category name category discount description url meta title meta uh, description or keyword here status we are going to make the status as one when we will add the category we are going to make the status as one okay later on we can disable the category as well and here category save after saving we are going to return redact to the uh, to the categories page in the admin panel okay return redact admin categories the success message dollar message okay so uh now i think it's fine now we can try 
and we can just comment this one and let's see we able to add i'm doing control shift r uh, command shift r here in mac uh, if you are in window you can do the control shift r okay and you can try to submit this uh, this category form okay that we have set earlier if it will start confirm forms and resubmission click on continue and see error is coming we need to use image okay intervention package we are using to uh, save the image names you to upload the images okay to upload the files we are using the intervention package okay so i'm going to do the control shift r once again command shift r here in mac and here the category added successfully and you can see the new category uh, must have been added i'm going to see here at the last accessories has been added you can uh, click on here and you can see the seventh id is the accessories primary category has been added with the parent id as zero i'm going to see now see there is no parent id for this category so it has been added okay accessories will be able to add and the category image also gone and all the fields are coming here you can see the all the fields are coming status is one meta keywords meta description meta title url uh, description category discount as well so image name we are going to check out the whether the image gone here yes the image also come up here you can see the image have come up in the categories folder as well so it's working fine perfectly okay so in the next video we are going to uh, uh, validate this category form as well uh, so that uh, we uh, can uh, the uh, the admin is required to fill up all the fields to add the category and if if in case there is any error like it comes to us as well so the fields must retain so it the form must not go empty otherwise the admin or sub admin or super admin is required to fill the complete form once again that is the tough task okay so we are going to work on the laravel validation for this add category form so please stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye